First Peter five five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the, the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. You may be seated. Church, let me ask you a question this morning. What would have happened to Joshua and the Israelites if they had walked around the Jericho six times instead of seven? How about, what if Noah and his family built the ark in their image instead of the one that God made out for them in the blueprints? What would have happened there? What would have happened if King Nahum had not dipped himself in the Jordan River seven times but decided to do it three times because seven is just too many times? What would have happened? All these men had something in common when they, this, this kind of interesting instructions. It was, a, it was, a, it was just, why? Why do I got to dip myself seven times? Why do we got to march around seven times? Why do I have to build the ark that size? It's massive. I've only got this many people. You want to build this thing? It's going to take forever. Can we just build it for my family? Just cruise down the you know, coastline once, once the water rises? Why do I got to build this massive ark? Because they had to submit themselves to his instructions. And that's what I felt God had put my heart is just submitting yourself. And everyone has a interpretation of sub- submitting or being submissive. And the, the, actual, the actual definition for sub- submissive is an action or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or to the will or authority of another person. The average person, when they hear the submissive word, they think of it as an oppro- oppressive or a negative. Like you're, I have to be submissive to somebody. Because what happens is pride kicks in. Why do I got to listen to somebody? Why do I have to be submissive to their authority? Why do I have to listen to what you have to say? Because how many here have been given instructions from a boss or remember from childhood from a parent that just absolutely made no sense at all? Do this. <laughs> Why? That makes no sense at all. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You're just, you know, you're just already there. You're like, nope, I think that's dumb. But you have to listen because you don't have a choice. In the fact, you know, sometimes you think you have a better idea, right? In your idea, you can be faster, you can make it easier, and you can make it more efficient. I'm sure Joshua thought that. I'm sure Noah thought that. I'm sure Naaman even thought that when they were given their instructions by God. Like, you know, they could have easily done something totally different than what God had said. I know, for example, the reason why this really came in my heart is because recently I, I had a little incident for myself. I was doing some work, and I was instructed by a skilled craftsman on how to handle the job. And the instructions were a little different than how I would have done it. And he suggested it. He didn't force it. But now, after doing the job, I had to go back and double my work and repair it because I didn't listen to the instruction of someone I should have submitted myself to, someone who's got years of experience, someone who's aware of how it was going to go for me. They should have, uh, or I should have been more submissive to the counsel that was provided to me. They were kind enough to not force me. You know, sometimes we don't always get a choice. Sometimes we're forced to do it. When it's offered to you, you should take it and take it with humility. And that's the problem with a lot of us. So I, I should have submitted myself to their leadership. Noah could have built the ark to fit him and his family and just save themselves and save him some labor and years. Joshua could have just walked around the city one time and saved some time. Nahum could have just dipped his big toe in the river and thought that'd be enough to heal his disease. But when you submit yourself to God, when you submit yourself to God's will, like these men did, church, you can build an ark-like ministries in this world and spread the truth throughout when you respond to his will and you submit to it. You can bathe in the waters of his Holy Spirit, and you can march around the walls of your enemies if you submit yourself to his will and to the leadership that's been provided to you. So I just want to put on your heart to provide for his kingdom. You have to be submitted to someone and to his will. Thank you.